is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love uh, Deck the Hallmark preview shows. Oh, my gosh. Hey, it's Panda, no. and I like Deck no. the Hallmark Woo! preview no. shows. No. Yeah! No! 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 We've already done one for summer. This is ridiculous. Don't play it. Don't hate the players. I'm Dan and this. Yeah, I hate the players and the game. Okay. This is the Deck to Hallmark podcast. You, you didn't say you hate it. I just you said, said I despising. Hate it. No, you didn't, you didn't say, say I despise. despise Hallmark. Okay, preview I'm episode. sorry. We've always started it with all the correct words in there. I despise Hallmark preview episodes, part two. And this is the Deck, Deck to the Hallmark, Hallmark podcast. podcast. Yep, it oh, sure is, everybody. Oh, Hi. I'm so pumped. I mean, summer preview part two. We've reached the next level of hell. We made uh, it. I think you're uh, summer preview. I part think you're two. Uh, underestimating hell. Yeah, really. I have a question. Yeah. Do you reach the next level, or do you go down? You a go level? down a level. Ooh, yeah, definitely going down. Amen. Definitely going down. Amen. 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 Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Deck the Hallmark. What a wonderful Wednesday it is. Yeah. Uh, smack mm-hmm. dab here in the middle. Um, Recovering from that time at a loft oh last night. Oh my gosh! Night. Wow. It was so much fun. So Wild. much fun. Fantastic. Hope you like the episode. Um, Panda, uh, and how are you? Because uh, you <sighs> look. Like you've got uh, something special to say. Yeah, I do. Uh, I I just want to toss this out there. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of uh, uh, some of the salads I've been eating lately. Well, you've been eating a lot of salads. I have been eating a lot of salads lately. Okay. I'm just not a huge fan so of it. So why you keep eating? Uh, I, I trying I just to watch hope, your figure. Uh, yeah, you know, just trying to just trying to shape down where I can. So, and uh, but you know, I I I really want to say this. I love butter lettuce. You love butter lettuce. Love butter lettuce. Who has a good butter lettuce salad? Right? Oh, oh, well, I I, don't, I haven't had a good one in a while. You just get it from the store. Yeah, and I make my own butter lettuce this, salad. This talk is better than a preview episode. Okay. Uh, I, now, <laughs> I agree because yeah, it is what's on my heart, awesome. uh, which is great, but mm. butter lettuce. Do you get the hydroponic butter yeah. lettuce? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's the only way to go. Way to go. Dude, it's incredible Boston how silky lettuce. it is. Yeah. It's like, what, did you did you grow this or did you, you make a dress out that of it? As, uh, did you make a dress out of it? Now it's weird. Why'd you make well, it you, weird? What do you mean? It just, it's soft. It's like uh, silky. You can also use Gaga the the lettuce wraps. You can make lettuce oh, wraps. Oh my goodness, yeah. yeah. So you good. You remember when Gaga shot up to the Grammys? and Meat dress. Meat dress. That's right. You know what I found out? This is unrelated to anything that we're talking about uh, inside baseball here. You were talking about Kanye yeah. the other day. Did you know he moved in to the Georgia Dome? No. He's moved in until he finishes the album. That's great. Dude, it is just one. I, sometimes I don't know if he's a master of the publicity stunt or he just doesn't know. Like, I, I, I'm, I just don't know. I'm, I'm to the point where I'm confused is if he thinks this is another publicity stunt or he's just that confused. I just, I, Donda's going to be the best. The best was Donda didn't have, like they all showed up, 42,000 people, mm-hmm. and he gets on stage two literally hours late. two hours late. Right, right. And then he just plays snippets of songs as he walks around the stage. Right. And then he says, it, surprise, it's not coming out tomorrow. And, and it's coming out August 6th. And right. We, we were over. He was charging like 40 bucks for snacks. Yeah. yeah. And they, it's a rope-a-dope. Ro- it's a rope-a-dope is what it is. Yeah. You know, they've uh, put together the amount of time that Kanye's albums have been late, and it's oh, it's at five years. Wow. His it, albums have been delayed for a total of five years. But when they come out, they're, they're pristine. Some of them. And some of them are terrible, but some of them are great. Okay. But it's always an event. It's always, always an, event an event when he drops an album. So, like, good for him. Lil M. Lil M. Big fan. Big Huge fan. fan. Yeah. Yeah. He was there. <laughs> Lil M was there. Yep. I bought the pretzel bites and that was a mistake because he was over two hours late. But I'm still here for Donda, friend. And this is the end. Lil, Lil M. M. <laughs> it's a preview episode, everybody. Uh, we if you were couldn't wondering, tell by all the butter lettuce talk and the Kanye talk, <laughs> we're we, talking about more summer uh, movies. We were wondering uh, not too long ago, like what what's Hallmark got 
in store for us. Yeah. You know, they move yeah. summer up. What are they going to do after Christmas in July? More and they said summer. More summer. Yeah. Wow. Which, Everyone's favorites. To be season. fair, this is like, it makes more sense than what they used to do. June weddings, summer just in August, a lot weirder than just summer movies, take a break, more summer movies. The fact that they're calling it Summer Nights Part 2 sounds like they're not prepared. Like, I just just call I, it summer nights to be done with. I it. just say, listen, I, let's move up uh, fall even more. Give us a more fall. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, honestly, Starbucks is coming out in August August twenty fourth. Just start it in August. Like yeah. everyone's ready. Now, by Starbucks late isn't August. coming out. Starbucks has been out. No, it's, but everyone knows when I say yeah, that what PSL. they mean. PSL. Everyone the, does know. Pumpkin cream mean. cold brew. PCCB. Oh, they got some good stuff this year. That, that's coming out. They, they did you not that. read the article? No, oh, God, no. But I, also, you don't know it's good. It's not out yet. It looks delicious. It looks okay. delicious. Yeah. It's the apple cider uh, latte you or whatever. You can say it good stuff crazy. even if you haven't tried it. It, it's, it, it looks it, good. They got good stuff. Got good stuff. Good stuff. Whether or not it is good is different. But looks it's good. good ideas. Looks good, yes. Good ideas. Looks good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. I disagree. Good stuff can be... Uh, Collective uh, whole. No. That's not it at all. Yeah. We are doing a preview episode. I'm going to read a synopsis from one of the Summer Night Part 2 movies, and then we are each going to give it a rating. Um, one to five Snow lemonades. Cones. Snow cones. <laughs> we're changing it from the last Summer Nights. Oh, it's Summer Nights 2. We're yeah. doing a new preview uh, that's episode. True, that's true. Be one, snow cones. one to five snow cones. Yeah, and we, we, get, uh, we get a couple of uh, snow creams we, we can throw in there, right? Yeah, sure. We can that's, throw that's where you need, to yeah. real, you need more than five. That's right. Yeah, that's going to happen a lot. So we have <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five. Now count them again. I want to make one, sure we don't screw two, this up. Three, four, five. five. Five movies. Got it. Are you guys ready to dive in? Let, Let's oh, do it. Couldn't be more ready. Um, up first, we have Love for Real. Love for Real. <laughs> love for Real. This isn't a reality is show. It is real it real R E E L? That would be great. Or, okay. Uh, it uh, is going to be airing this Saturday, July 31st. Thank goodness. Um, and it's starring Chloe Bridges from The Carrie Diaries, of course, and mm -hmm. Pretty Little Liars. And uh, Scott Michael Foster of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend yeah. and Teenage Dirtbag, the music video. <laughs> Man, he I'm is kidding. quite. Got it just quite says Teenage Dirtbag, but the only Teenage Dirtbag I care about is, uh, what was that band? Uh, uh, I've been a teenage dirtbag. Who's the, who wrote that song? Teenage dirt. Uh, I don't remember. Um, hey, do you even know the song? No, I do, but it was a really like a one hit wonder. Yeah, like, one ultimate one hit wonder. Yeah, like their next level bad. Um, all right, are we ready? Oh wow! Uh, this also stars uh Tiana uh, uh Tully. And Corbin Blue, Corbin Blue from High School Musical. Fame. Mm. Um, Haley is an ambitious fashion designer who goes on a reality dating show with a strategy: gain just enough publicity to get her fashion line financed, and then get eliminated. Haley's best friend Bree, played by Tully, is also a contestant, and the two try to come up with a plan that could help both of their careers. But they didn't account for the ambitious producer, Luke, played by Foster, and the star bachelor, Marco, played by Blue, who have their own goals to make sure both women stay on the show until the dramatic finale. What? Meanwhile, Haley and Luke quarrel over a surprisingly scripted storyline, but must learn to work together to dodge elimination and turn Haley into a fan favorite. When they start falling for each other in front of the viewing audience, Haley must decide whether she should choose the man of her dreams or, wait, what? Choose the man the world wants for her or the man of her dreams. Yeah, I was about to say, man of her <laughs> dreams or you've left yourself <laughs> up the creek. What do we got, guys? Love wow. for real. So both of these ladies want to get off of the show early. They the wanna, producer and the host want to keep them on the show. Right. But it, then it says that they're, they're trying to work out a plan for her to stay on the show. To keep her. They the want show. her to stay on the show. She wants she, to leave. She has come to the point where she's like, you know what? I've got enough publicity. Why I can she now just leave? Because she can't. She can't, can't sign a contract. You have, you have to get eliminated. And they don't want client. to eliminate her. 
You can't just leave a show. But you either have it, to get eliminated is or, it, is it by or have an old tweet come is up. It, yeah, probably. Well, I mean, not, I don't know the rules. The Bachelor just hands roses out. So he can keep her until the very end if he right. wants to. That's exactly so they don't need to come up with a plan. Well, they this isn't The Bachelor. Her. This is a dating show. This okay. is a there different show. A you don't know the logistics of this program. You're right. But if it's a vote thing. It could be a vote thing. It could be a uh, audience thing. You think this whole reality show is it. live? You think? Yes. I think. I think they could tank it, and so they don't want her to tank. That's it. right. Big Brother's live. Yeah, we could stream it right now, live. If you you can watch it to. right now. Yeah, you really could. Why, what are you could do and listen to us? I don't you could know. Be streaming Big Brother you live. You could stream right people wow. living. Come on, guys. Life in a house. It's pretty That's cool. Fun. Um, Dan Panda, let's talk about it. Yeah. Where are you at? Five snow cones are at your disposal. How many are you giving? For this movie. The fact that Corbin Blue is in this. I mean, yeah. Corbin really, Blue. I mean, bring it home. On. I also like uh, Finley. What's his name? Finley. Yeah. Finley. Finley. Yeah. Let's go with him. I, I like I like that guy. Uh, <laughs> he seems great. Uh, so I'm going to go. Talk about Scott Foster. Yeah, that's yeah. the guy. I'm going. Finley, as we call him. Finley. <laughs> oh, Finley. Finley. As he was called in high school. The old Finster. I give him, uh, I give this movie uh, four snow cones. Four wow. snow cones. Coming out hot. I'm excited about this one. You know, typically this would be bottom of the barrel stuff, but we saw the trailer. It looks fun. A few minutes ago, and now I know it's bottom of the barrel stuff. <laughs> give me one snow cone. One snow cone. I will say one. the trailers have not made it look real appealing. It looks awful. It looks like Hallmark movie. Hallmark, Hallmark Channel is trying to make a movie that's not a Hallmark movie. I think it's and not in be a good funny. way. I think it's going to be funny. I you think it's going to be funny. I think they're coming. I think we'll get big, big laughs, big, big, big laughs. Pause all the way wow. through. Man. I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to split the difference here in a sense, not the exact difference. You're going to go two and a half snow cones. No, I'm not going to split the exact difference. I'm going to go three. <laughs> yeah. three, three snow, three snow cones. Um, I'm going to save my creams uh, for a different movie because uh, we only get two creams. We got two creams, and I'm going to save both of them. So we have four snow cones, one snow cone, and, and three, three snow, snow cones. cones. And we are all saving our creams. All right, this next one uh, is going to be airing on August 7th. Oh, man, guys, are you excited about this now, one? that is my birthday. Um, so pretty excited. Happy birthday to you, You're, you're inviting you. us over for yeah. a viewing party of this? Will not be doing that. Oh, well, what if I Monday told you morning. Autumn Reese or Andrew Walker? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Does that change your birthday plans Still at all? Still not watching it on my birthday. All right. Is this the 80-hour day or whatever? 27-hour day. It That's is starring one. Autumn Reeser from A Glen Book Christmas and Love on the Menu. Those okay, are the ones time Those are her she, two yes. worst movies. Glen that Brook you Christmas could. is just death. Like, how in Why the world did they are they those? saying that for her? Like That makes no sense. I, as, a, as a huge Autumn Reeser yes, stand, That's Panda, offensive. Give me the movies they should be listing. Uh, what's the Over the Moon in Love or whatever? Christmas Under the Moon. Uh, <laughs> under the Moon. Christmas Under the Stars is what you're yeah, looking for. Yeah, that's the one. Over the Moon in Love. There is a moon. movie. There, with yeah. Autumn Moon yeah. or something. And yeah. I, she's in that under too. The moon. Moon. Yeah. Under the Autumn Moon. Yeah. Isn't she in yeah. Under the Autumn Moon? Is. Yeah. Uh, I think I thought that was uh, Wes Brand, Brown and uh, your, your, your girl. Got to say Lindy Booth. I got to say Lindy Booth. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's fair. I um I don't know guys maybe Bramble House like why is, yes Bramble, Bramble House Bramble Christmas House is on? the one yes but you got to pick the, the the most recent ones I guess um and then uh, yeah, under the autumn moon West Brown Lindy Booth it feels oh, yeah. good to be right again I've been wrong all day today and I just yeah. it, it's, it's been, been right. an off day for it's you been, it so feels you, good to be yeah. right again if it took a while and then I'm Andrew here. Walker from Christmas Tree Lane and Sweet Autumn well okay so they're just doing their most, most too recent, recent I guess yeah. Christmas Tree Lane though Christmas Tree Lane uh they're starring in the twenty seven hour day which is going to air on uh, Dan's birthday. Yes. Um, I would love for everybody to send birthday cards to the office, but inside of it is just uh, pictures from this movie. <laughs> <laughs> that what? seems like a lot of work. <laughs> Brian Don't Harold. Do that. <laughs> Brian Harold. We know you're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lauren, played by Reeser, is an established creator and ambassador of her wellness brand called The 27 Hour Day. Oh, that's, that's an established amazing. creator of her own wellness brand. She is an established <laughs> creator and ambassador. Isn't of that just a self fulfilling prophecy right there? I made a brand, I'm established. Of my own brand. I'm the established. She but that checks out though. Yeah. She is an. That's like we're the established host of the Deck to Hallmark podcast. This is, I think this is what it's saying. She's an established creator. 
She's also the ambassador of her wellness. Okay. Brand. All right. Okay. Got I believe got that's it. what they're yeah. trying to get. How across do you become to. an established creator? Is there a certification I, process? I, uh, yeah, you yeah. got to talk to Tyler or somebody. You got to talk like, to Tyler. Yeah. Tyler gets you to <laughs> Megan, yeah. and Megan has <laughs> yeah. the big stamp. Yep, that's right. The big stamp for Megan. Megan, the big stamp. Yeah, the, you've done it. Right. You're established. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. Who is that? I'm Megan. I'm Megan. <laughs> You're established. That's exactly right. How uh, do they? That's the south. That's the southeast branch. Yeah, yeah. You got to go to Jackson, Mississippi, for Megan to stamp your form. Apparently, it's wild. It's crazy. But out what's there. crazy is that there's there are regional offices to get the stamp, but all the stampers are named Megan. Megan the stamp. But they're not is required. They're not the same Megan. No, different Megans. Megan the Stallion. Um, her mission is to give the best. Megan the Stallions or all? No, races? sorry, auto okay, racers. Megan the Stallion. She's in the Northeast. Okay, branch. got you. I got you. Um, she's also an established creator. Mm -hmm. Interesting. She, but, but she, she had to go to stamp. another That's Megan. Right. To, had to go to a different Megan to make it all like about you can't, you can't write your own. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Boy, what if you could though? Just, just I would oh, become haywire. a notary tomorrow. Everything's out of control. You can't control that power. No, it gets, oh, it gets it away from you quick. Run amok. Her mission is Notaries to... Notaries run amok. Great live phenomenal. show. Oh, my gosh. Phenomenal. Really difficult to get in. You had to find <laughs> you had one to get, to, get get. to get. You had to have two forms of ID off the I-9 And you list. had to be an established creator. And an established creator. It's unbelievable. And that's frustrating. If you can see Notaries run amok, highly recommend it. Oh, that. they were nuts. Her mission is to give the best tips and tricks to make, to make life's daily chores and activities more efficient. Kind of like those videos that you watch on Facebook yeah. where it's like, oh, hey, yeah. screw a cap onto a pen and then paint the town yeah. red or something yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> paint the town red. <laughs> uh, but when an important meeting with her business idol goes, uh, goes awry, uh, Lauren realizes she may need to step back and get some perspective. Foreign to the concept of taking a break, Lauren agrees to a mountain retreat. Upon arrival, she hands over all forms of electronics and her established creator card <laughs> and tries to forget about work. While there, she meets others. Heather. <laughs> Hi, <we're> she <laughs> meets others? <laughs> we're the others. She's not alone. Um, Heather. The tent people. <laughs> Heather, played by um, uh, Lillian uh, du Duche Roche. <laughs> Dude, Lily and Duche Roche in this movie. <laughs> I did, you buried the lead. The Lily and Duche Roche. How would you say that last name? Let me there? say. Uh, right here, right here. Duche, Duche Roche. Yeah, uh, you did as well as <laughs> Lily and Duche Roche. Uh, to be fair, he did as well as he can. Lily and Duche Roche, if she's in the movie, I'm I'm in. Okay. She is a tire, tireless wedding planner. Tireless. Um, a couple trying to rekindle the marriage. We don't know their names. And Roger. Roger. Um, who's played by Tom Pickett, of course. When's uh, Andrew Walker coming uh, to pick? <laughs> we'll find out. This is the longest synopsis. This is he, like you're reading in search of yeah, lost time. Yeah, like he, by, <laughs> Roger, uh, Tom Pickett, is a board trustee. Lauren also comes across the retreat owner. Is this him? It is him. His name's Jack. Jack. Played by Andrew Walker, who can immediately tell that she's a workaholic from the big city. If there's one thing yeah. I can tell, it's that. Yeah. Uh, Jack is looking to expand his family. Wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Family business. Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, and not get involved with a guest, but there's just something Dude, about Lauren. That line? Hey, girl. Looking <laughs> Over to expand the family. <laughs> Business. <laughs> Over the course of the week, uh, in the calm setting of the Montana mountains, Lauren realizes that she needs to reprioritize what's important in her life, and she finds herself beginning to fall for Jack and wonders how life will be once she returns to New York and if Jack will follow. And uh, that is an Hour Road Productions, and you can reach out to Taylor Albers. Taylor Albers, if you have questions. So get ready, Taylor. For the flood of emails. Uh, coming all right, your way. guys. Five snow cones. We both got our creams left. Panda. Uh you know what? I'm I'm gonna do it. Five snow cones, one cream. Whoa! Whoa. You have five snow cones? Is it the five leads? Snow. It's the leads. Yeah. It's the leads. And I love any hacks. Like if I can get one good hack, life hack out of this movie, uh, that's where that's where the cream is. And you comes love in. Ruchet Duche. Yeah. I love, love Ruche Duche. Yeah. Who doesn't? Lily Ruche Duche? Come on. Oh my gosh. Amazing. <laughs> uh Dan? Um, I'm gonna go one and a half snow cones because on and with a cream. 
movies. Interesting. And here's why. It's because the movie sounds like hot garbage. But our boy Andrew Walker and Autumn oh Reese are in it. Yep. Are you kidding me? So there you have it. Kidding me? And the preview was just her in a boat and the paddles just floating out there instead of having a real preview. And I was like, that's bold. Well, it was also funny because she literally has it one minute and then it's floating away the next and she plays it perfectly. Like, yeah. how did I even yeah. do that? But that's if, funny. If you read me that and you didn't mention the leads or Lillian Ruche Duche, of course, Duche Ruche, I'm saying zero, a hard zero. Sure. But you add the leads in there and the, the little teaser, one and a half with a cream. Yeah, I'm going to go four snow cones with a cream. Wow. Okay, wow. I mean, the leads. And also, I mean, I we've um, kind of gone away from um, the big city coming to the small city, and I miss that. And so I'm happy that that's coming back so that we can hate on the big city again. Mm. Like, I miss that. And yeah. just hoping that we come back to our roots here. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, let's take a quick break, if you guys don't mind, and we'll sure. come back. We'll get to three more movies, including... Um, any more uh, Duché Roche joints? I don't know for sure, but we okay. do have Sealed with a Kiss Wedding March number six. Ooh. Number six. Thank you. Hold on. Man, we're talking about a lot of movies here, and uh, I'm, I'm wondering how I'm going to watch them um, because 16 of my televisions... That were that were attached to cable. The cable fried it. Fried the the. The table. cable fried the TV. Yeah, I've gone through sixteen TVs in the last fifteen. Have months. I? Do I have a recommendation for you? Go ahead. Um, don't plug a cord into your TV for cable. Just how get, do you do that? What do you, you mean? You, you have an internet connection. I do, of course. You just go to Philo. And you get the app, and then you get 60 plus channels with an unlimited DVR. You got all the TV movies. You got your Hallmark, your Lifetime, your BET. You got Nickelodeon for the kids, AMC. You got all of it. It's Is all Philo going to fry my TV? They're not going to fry your TV. What? They're, here's the thing you're going to get 25% off two months if you go to philo.tv slash DTH. Two months. You're going to get all those channels. Philo's for everyone, and it's a take de the Hallmark guarantee. Philo won't fry your TV. It doesn't get any better than that. That's a guarantee. All those channels, 25 bucks a month, 25% off, and they won't fry your TV. Wow. Philo.tv slash DTH. Huh. Man, they're getting good. Yeah. <laughs> just really starting at the hang of it. 16 TVs in 15 months. You, you just can't get that. Yeah. So there was one month where you just went through two, cable, which is crazy. Cable is real. Real, real doozy. Though. Um, let's talk about um, Sealed with a Kiss, Wedding March 6th. Mm, boy, could we. Uh, <laughs> and you guys know <laughs> oh. the ins and outs of the, the Wedding, Wedding March, March series? series 1 through 5. Yeah. Panda, for those that haven't, yeah. give us a quick rundown who yeah. we're dealing with here, yeah. who are the main So players. we've got two lovebirds, and yeah. we've just gotten a chance to watch them march, really yeah. march through all sorts of weddings. And then starting in the third, I believe, Dave Matthews Band just plays for the entire film. The entire film. And it was an artistic <laughs> turn. <laughs> it's the <laughs> wedding, March 5. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Dave Matthews Band. <laughs> Uh, I got hiccups, man. You, you sound like a hyena trying not to be a hyena. <laughs> it sounded like Dave Matthews, to be honest with you. It was good. Yeah. That and your Regis, those two. Man, I mean, airtight. So this is starring um, Jack Wagner. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the bold and Lillian the Lillian Duche Roche. Uh, the bold and the beautiful fame, and also Win Calls the Heart. Interesting, they led with bold and the beautiful. Mm. And not their own program. Uh, and Caitlin Stryker uh, from Clarice. The Stryker. And a Million oh. Little Things and some other people. Are we ready? This is the fin the final installment. Of Are the we Wedding sure March. about this? And we have been, fool me look, once. Look, after the third one, I was like, this is it, right? You told me this was it. No. It's become Dave like Matthews is tired. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I thought it was bold that they decided to do it again for episode four. It's wild. Uh, just keep cranking it up. It's, it's like the Fast and the Furious of the Hallmark franchise. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, who's Wit? Nathan Wit is also in this. Uh, oh, really? From Batwoman and Charmed. Ooh. And um, Josie Bissett from The Secret Life of the American Teenager. You could Teenager. be making all of this up right now. <laughs> all right, are we ready? Yeah. Who's Stryker? It's Joni okay. Frogs. Stryker. Joni Str Frogs, is that it? Joni Frogs. Frog legs? Did you buy any frog legs yet? Oh, for sure. Dude, the, it's going through the roof right now. So, Unreal. Kurt, who's played by... Uh, Stryker? Wit, 
Nathan Whitt who's from Who's playing Batwoman. defense? Uh, and Autumn, who's played by Stryker, they're looking forward to their Isn't upcoming what wedding. What Aragorn is called in Lord of the Rings? Uh, Strider. Stry- Strider. Strider, yeah. yeah. Um, you do you, Brand. We'll be back Stryker, in a second. Stryker is uh, Stryker, no from, striking. No, no that's Swiper. No swiper. Corman swiping. Strike from the uh, CB Strike show and the... Uh, the book series by J.K. Rowling that's not Harry Potter. Uh, I was also thinking uh, Star Trek Next Generation. Don't they have a striker? That's Riker. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lieutenant Riker is what you're looking for. My bad, my bad. Anytime you're ready, Brandon. Kurt and Autumn are looking forward to their upcoming wedding at uh, at Mick, who's played by Wagner, and Olivia's, who's played by Bissette's, Willow Lake Inn. Mm -hmm. And both are in the public eye. Kurt is an actor whose star is rising. Doubt it. And Autumn writes a popular children's book series. They've planned an intimate celebration without glitz and glamour because of COVID to match their (laughs) down-to-earth lifestyle. Uh, Once at the end, a last-minute interview for Kurt's next film pops up, and before they know it, a film crew arrives. Soon, word gets out about the wedding, uh, and their low-key affair morphs into anything but that. Though Mick and Olivia quickly pivot and pull it off, Autumn has concerns about the direction the wedding is headed, and uh, Kurt's celebrity status might affect their lives. Together, the couple needs to figure out how they're going to handle things uh, and the changes that are going to come their way and decide what's going to be best for their relationship. Meanwhile, Mick and Olivia are finally getting ready to say I do, but the plans are called into question when Mick gets a touring opportunity and Olivia won't let him turn it down. It looks like they'll have to postpone their own trip to the altar until a last-minute change in plans gives both couples the wedding of their dreams. There are six or seven changes of plans in this And i got to be honest, I feel like they told us the entire plot, like... Guys, I gotta be honest with you. I like, it, I don't even think I can give this a snow cone. I this le- sounds horrible. I legitimately picked up my phone just out of like I could not pick up my phone. I had nothing to do. Oh my gosh, that I was couldn't even awful. I couldn't even lock in for the plot. Oh. I can't believe we have to watch this movie. It, I can't believe I we know have to I watch made it. the joke about what doing Never. the marching march weddings marchathon. I can't like that that. I read some of the preview or the the descriptions, yeah, yeah, of some of the other ones, and I was I, I, I get maybe a couple sentences in, and I just, I can't do it. That sounds like hot trash. Yeah, zero snow cones, zero. Any snow cream? Cones. No. Uh, I'll, I'll give it just because I a half. I give it a half snow cone, half <laughs> snow cone. I think that this one is going to surprise us. Oh my gosh. The sixth in the series, and you think we're going to like it? I think we might. No. You think there's a chance that we like Have we ever liked a sequel where we've not seen the original? Ever. I'm going to give it two snow cones. Wow. wow. That's bold. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's time Sheesh. for the fourth one. It's Love in the Afternoon, mm. which is going to be airing on um, uh, August 21st. Oh, they take a... No, no, that's right. 21st. Love in the Afternoon. Love in the Afternoon. What's Isn't that a song of sorts? Because it's mm. nine in the afternoon. Oh, maybe that's Panic it. at the Disco, nine in the afternoon. Now, uh, I don't have a long boy for this one. Okay. So mm, I'm hate sorry. It. Um, Love in the Afternoon is um, was uh, originally... This is confusing. Hold on. I thought I had to sneeze. Boy, that's embarrassing. <laughs> um, on on the Crown Media press page, it's, it's uh, um, a. Hey, afternoon. Lillian Duchesne Ruche just canceled her appearance with us because of that embarrassment of a lack of sneeze. I'm just letting you know, they just called. Uh, Love in the afternoon. Been on, working on the Duchesne Ruche people. For I know. Months. I'm sorry. It's unbelievable. On Crown Media press, it's called Love in the afternoon. On the Hallmark Channel website, it's called a little daytime drama. We'll see what happens. We'll ah, see what happens. Both of those sound awful. Real bad. <laughs> Uh, this is starring uh, our good pal Jen Lilly and our good pal Ryan Pavey. Uh, Ooh, maybe he'll come on the show. A little daytime, <laughs> a little daytime drama. Are you ready? Uh, in order to save her daytime soap opera from cancellation, head writer Maggie must convince Darren, fan favorite actor and real life ex boyfriend, to return to the show. 
The show's producer, Alice, who created the series, wants to retire and hopes to pass the baton to Maggie if the soap can be salvaged. Wow. That is a little daytime drama slash love in the afternoon. So I'm going to give this my highest rating so far. Uh-huh. I'm going to give it two and a half snow cones with my last cream. Wow. And here's why. It's because, one, both of these actors are due for a good movie. Mm-hmm. It's got, you know, it's been a little bit of been, been Lightning a time. has not struck for in them a little in a bit. while. Yep. And two, both of these actors have spent years of their lives on soap operas. Poppers, yes. True. Which gives this an air of realism yep. that is normally not present in Hallmark movies. So... I don't know what the last movie is, but you're gonna, it's going to be hard-pressed no. for this movie to not be the, the favorite going into the clubhouse mm. uh, before they all break to, to show. Uh, so you gave it two, two and, and a cream, half two with and a cream. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Listening to everything you just laid out, because I, I was excited about this one as he was reading yeah. about it, but just hearing you lay it all out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do... I, I never do this. I'm giving this one a five with cream as well. That's a double tie there's, with a Reeser there's Walker. No, there's no, no. You gave them four. No, I gave them a five. You gave and them five a five and a cream? And a cream? I, I think yeah. the one on the chat just Yeah, us yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what happened there. So you're giving, the, you're saying this is going to be your best, the best one. Tied, I think this one going into it for me, Walker, Reeser, uh, Pavey, Lily, Bull. That's a real bull uh, It's fight. a slobber knocker Man. of a Hallmark summer. Summer slobber knocker. Summer slobber. I saw <laughs> them, life. dude. Um, I agree with everything that Panda said uh, I and everything that Dan said. I think... As this, someone who hates Ryan Pavey, though. Stop. Like, I want to make sure that we're... <laughs> I, I someone that just legitimately doesn't like the guy. Like right. what where do you stand though? You can't have this as the highest. You don't like him. Well, watch me get over uh the <laughs> barriers. Uh four and a half and a cream. And my last cream. Four and a half. So it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna I'm looking forward to it more than the uh twenty seven hours because the story I think is the most intriguing of the story so far. Uh and I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be good. Mm. There you have it. Big, big soap opera fun. You, you hear that, Pavey Pack? Well, Brand's coming Brand's around. Brand's back. In the Brand's pack. back in the pack. And the Mac is back, no slack. On the DC track is Jack. Uh, we got one more movie, everybody. Okay. One more movie. And uh, boy, it's going to be a doozy, everybody. Uh, we're talking about Sweet Pecan Summer. Sweet Pecan Summer. Sweet Pecan Summer. It is starring Christine Ko from Tiger Tail and Hawaii Five O, and mm. Wes Brown, Natural Christmas Carol, Wedding at Graceland, yep. and the works. In they, the works. In the works. They are uh, starring in Sweet Pecan Summer um, on August twenty eighth, twenty twenty one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, Amanda, played by Co, works in product development at a large cosmetics company. While she loves what she does, Amanda feels like she can't implement her best ideas since the company is uh, they're they're content to stick to the long term flagship products, leaving her frustrated. One day, her favorite aunt, played by um, who's this? Uh, Lauren Tom. From oh. Futurama, oh, Friends, yeah, Futurama the Joy Friends. Luck, the Joy Club. Luck Club, yeah, uh, calls Amanda and shares exciting news. She met a man, and will be moving away to live near him, ready to start the next chapter of her life. But first, Aunt Carol needs to sell her pecan farm to. Uh, it's a place where they have. It's been the epicenter of the family's traditions. Her entire life. And Amanda agree stop. Amanda agrees to sell it, but her mischievous aunt has a, has a little, you know, and a, and a little matchmaking. Um, and she's interested in, in in syncing up with a professional baseball player named JP, who also is Amanda's ex boyfriend from school. Oh, he's the broker. Um, and uh, stuck having to work with each other, Amanda and JP are at odds uh, practically every decision on how to sell this pecan farm. But the more time they spend together, the more they reconnect and the old feelings start to rekindle. And now, my friends, is Sweet Pecan Summer. Panda. 
I, first of all, let me say I'm I'm thrilled with how I've spent my snow cones yeah. and, and my cream so That's far. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. I not misgaged this. Normally, yeah. I feel like I just mess it up, yeah. uh, but I feel really good about this. This movie sounds like Love Under the Olive Tree a little bit to me. Love Under the, the Olive cons. Tree. It's the sequel to Love Under the Olive Tree that we never wanted. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. it sounds like to me. Farm selling. It just it. it Whatever. Although uh, those were dueling olive oil companies, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. That's actually a more intriguing plot line than yeah. what this sounds like. I, mm. uh, it, it, you know what? It's probably going to be one of those movies that after I see, it, I'm like, it was fine. Uh, two two snow cones. Half a snow cone would be the worst if it weren't for wedding March sixth, even Marchier. Like that, it would be the worst. <laughs> so I, my order is wedding March sixth last. Yep. Pecan tree next. Love for real after that. Uh, Andrew Walker, Autumn Reeser, uh, Pavy Lily. You know, That's did you order. give it? This is wild. I think we're we're almost in lockstep. Yeah. Except I have those two tied. Yeah. For first. Yeah. Did you give a rating? I did, did. Half. Okay. Half. No. 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 Yeah. I said How half. You brand. Um. I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it two and a half. Two and a half. Really? Yeah, I think it has potential. Um, I, I, I like. I um, enjoy uh, hating on the big cities. I also enjoy, you know, rekindling old flames. It's a trope that works for brand. Going back, there's the high school sweetheart. Blah blah blah. And it's Wes Brown, who's a delight. And so it has some things going for it. And so I'm gonna give it two and a half. I, I'm, I'm. I, I'm a little cautious, but I, I'm also optimistic. I'm he, cautiously optimistic, if you will. If I will he, say this. I am thrilled by their placement of this movie, though, being the last week of the Summerfest movies, because to me, Pecan also drips over into fall a little bit. Because, little bit. You, yeah, because little you, bit. you can add it to the pumpkin Turns the pie. Tide, yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a pie boy. It's a pie uh, boy. And so, you know, and pies fall. So Let me ask you this. If you could switch actors in two of these movies to make them better, whose would you switch? I think they've done it uh, pretty great. Really? You think yeah, so? I think the matchups make a lot of sense. I think if you put Wes Brown in that uh, reality show movie. Maybe. Toss one of those guys over to PK and just let that one burn in flames. <laughs> no, I agree with you. And if then I we're do, good to go. Then you've ra- yeah, yeah, that's right. It, it, it we get the most I'm, really, have- I'm really excited about the, the Reese or Walker pairing. I think it's going to be and really good. And then the Pavy Lily. The Pavy Lily a makes no-brainer. a lot of sense. Yes. And, you know, Wes Brown can do no wrong. Wedding role. March is, is a lost cause. Well, d- We'll see. I think it's going to surprise. She us. wakes up in the morning. I think I think it's going to surprise us. Is all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. We did, everybody. Congratulations. Hey. Another season previewed. Can you Thank believe it? Goodness. I that love these means, preview. Episodes. These are necessary. That means okay. <laughs> uh, that means we get uh, the one more. We get a fall preview. Oh yeah. We'll have half a dozen Christmas previews. Since there were two summer ones, don't we at least need one summer look back, though, just to make sure we've got them all ranked of course. properly? We'll oh, of it. course. Yeah. Is that where we hash it out? Yeah. It's where we hash it out. It, has it been long enough since we last hashed it out, though? What do you mean? Like with the rankings a on the t- Oh, you want to do a tier boy. I, he he said that. I just, I don't know. I think, can I, here's my suggestion. We do a, do a tier boy after fall. Yeah. After fall. Yeah. Yeah. Before because we get the I holidays. can't, I and can't. That's going to, and we, and, and we do a tier for the whole year. The whole yeah. year. Oh man. It's going to get real. Gonna oh, and I will not budge. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> there's a, you said you wouldn't budge on taking a shot at love and ended up in the second, <laughs> second tier. It's, and you immediately were like, I'll admit you know it's what? not the best movie. No, you know what, though? The beauty of doing it again is you can do it all over. You yep, can fight I can for fight it. for it. That's and right. Then I, and I plan Somehow on it. Somehow you think that movie's going to get better, even though we've watched a whole lot more movies. You think it's going to get better somehow? Already it's getting better. You think it's going to be in a higher tier? It's better now than it was a minute ago. It was. It's, uh, it's like fine wine. It ages well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Happy uh, we do these. I am. I think this is the best best content we put out. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Uh, we did, everybody. We're going to be back tomorrow with a Win Calls the Heart uh, Christmas uh, season four kickoff. Season four kickoff. Um, and until then, uh, get a good nap in, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and maybe we'll be the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Check the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com.
www.thepowerhouse.com.